Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So a couple of weeks ago we made that, uh, or modified that uh, hub adapter for a 720 John Deere diesel that goes into this flywheel. And the customer thought he saw a crack in the flywheel. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take the die penetrant test and we're going to do a die penetrant test on it and just see if we got any crack. Um, so with that, we're going to get that set up. I want to just talk about it quick, I guess. Um, this is the Magnaflux die penetrant testing where you spray it with this uh, cleaner and you get it good and clean. And then you spray the dye, let that soak in. And if I remember right, you wipe that off and then you spray it with the, the um, activator or the revealer, I think they call it to show the crack. So we'll get the camera right down in here and I'll walk it right through it. And uh, hopefully we don't find a crack. And if we do, well then I guess I'm gonna talk to the customer and see what they wanna do. If they wanna try to find a new flywheel or if they want to uh, see about having it repaired or just run it as is. I mean, this is a low speed application. A 720 diesel isn't a high speed engine and it probably would be okay, but um, that's their call. I'm just, getting paid to find the crack. So let's get okay, started. So right here is what we suspect is the crack. And what we want to know is how far it goes in. So we're going to start with the, uh, the cleaner. And I got to remember how, which one that is. Non-destructive testing material, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I guess I got to read the instructions. It's been a while. I've done this. Okay. So this one is the cleaner. So we spray this down really good with the cleaner. We clean it up really good. And we're not just gonna check that one spot, we're gonna check the whole thing. Because if it's cracked there, it could be cracked elsewhere. Boy, that sure looks like a good healthy crack. But like I said, we won't know until we get it completely cleaned up and just see how far it goes. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna test it out into here just to see. Okay, next step is to spray the penetrant. And you spray it on where you want to check it. And we're mostly looking here. I mean, that definitely looks like a crack inside the bore and out here, but we're gonna do the whole thing. Each one of these and outside, just so we know. So 
So we got the penetrant on there. That needs to soak for 10 to 30 minutes. Um, soak in and make uh, fill in the voids. So if there are any places where it's where it's cracked, it's going to suck that in. And then once that's done, we wipe off the excess penetrant. Um, you know, just remove all the outside stuff. Basically, you're just cleaning it again, um, and then you use the developer and spray it. And that, if there's a crack, you'll see a red line. That developer's white, and then you'll see a red line where the crack is. So we're going to let this soak, let it sit for a while, and we'll come back and we'll get on the next part. Okay, it's been about a half hour now. So let's get this thing cleaned up. And the way to do that is to soak a rag up. Don't spray it with the solvent, the cleaner. Um, because you'll wash it out of the crack. Spray up a rag, come in, wipe it down. Just wipe it all off. So all you're doing is getting the dye off the outside. And it pools a little bit. I got a little thick maybe. But hey, it should actually do its job. I got a little thick, you know, that rag. Looks like I murdered someone. Nasty. I'm gonna be willing to bet that's a crack there, and we're gonna find out real quick here. Actually, I see a little more pooling. I'm gonna get that out of there. Because if there's a crack there, I wanna be able to see it. All right, let's see what we got. Now we let that dry. It won't take long. We'll start seeing if there's cracks. See, that's starting to dry nicely right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the, the recording right now. And uh, we'll let this dry for a little while, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we got. Okay, that's mostly dry. And you can't see it because the camera's in the wrong angle and that thing's heavy. So I'm going to move you. I'm just going to pull the camera. And you might be able to see that crack down in there. But that's goes all the way through. This is crack here. I didn't get the dye cleaned up too well. And it goes down to the bolt hole over here. But it doesn't continue. It doesn't continue anywhere. But it does go most of the way down in that hole. Let me get a little more light over here. So now I got to talk to the customer about it and see what they want to do. So there you have it. That's how you do a dye penetrant test to look for cracks in stuff. And this, like I said, this is a flywheel off of a John Deere 720 diesel. Um, so they're they're a neat tractor. I've I've driven a 730, and um, they're they're pretty cool. Two cylinder with a um, little four cylinder gas pony motor. Uh, that was a 730. I don't know what the, actually I think the 730 was electric start. I can't remember now, but they're still kind of cool. Big two cylinder and diesel. So with that, I'm going to talk to the customer, see what they want to do. If they want to try using it as is, I personally, I think it's probably going to be okay, but the low speed application, I don't know. It's, it's up to them. They've got like 15 of these tractors. So 
they're, they're more versed in what they need than I am. So with that, you can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share the content around and help us grow the channel. So and until next time, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time.